Hello everyone and welcome to the second video demonstrating my new random planet generation engine. So there are a couple of new things to show. I've actually taken away uh, the grass detail file. I'm going to re-add it but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I don't want to spam it all over the place anymore. I just kind of want to place it in key areas and sort of uh, go from there. But what I have added is these uh, pine trees as you can see. And um, these are really low poly models. I'm using quite a, I'll say a weak engine for 3D Game Maker. Um, but I don't know, you can create some pretty nice things, like this is just a pine tree forest at the moment. Um, I've got the dynamic shadows in so you, the areas under the trees are shaded. I've also added a new shader um, to perform this thing called uh, texture splatting as it's called. Um, and this is to create a painted effect on the terrain. Before the edges of like coloured terrain were very sharp, as you can see the mountains in the distance still have this sharp, very rigid polygon edges. And those mountains are actually really far away. Um, I'm gonna, I'll fly to those at the end of the video, but as you can see, they're actually going to be quite far away in a number of chunks. Um, the view distance actually reduced in the moment because I've added this skybox, which sort of cuts off a bit of the thing. And I'm still working on the sky. It's got this weird pinch effect at the top. But as you can see here, I've got the terrain splatting working here, and this just shows a really smooth blending between the snowy areas at the top of the mountain and the grassy areas below. Um, so I'm just going to walk up here. Uh, the game itself is still coming quite nicely. We've got a couple of new features in the game part itself, including this placement feature. Um, what you can do is you can click objects in your inventory, right click and you can place them. Um, we've got this nice little sort of 3D placing thing going on. Um, so I place that TP down here. Um, this is actually going to be a shelter, so during like heavy weather or uh, night you'll be able to sleep in there. And we've also got this little campfire thing. You can't light it yet. Um, we also had to disable shading uh, because shading didn't stack with the shaders. And uh, shading does help to add a lot of depth to the world, so it's a little bit of a shame that we've had to turn that off. I'm currently trying to work out alternatives of uh, how I can still pull off the uh, shading without having to worry about not having the actual shading code. Um, but the most important thing that we've added is actually going to be uh, this new weather engine first. I'm just going to fly down here quickly and show you by the water. The water's a bit glitchy, but as you can see, huge landscape. Like walking, this take a good amount of time. But we've also got this sort of terrain splatting here, um, creating this smooth edge between the terrain. So I'm going to fly back up here, and I've completely forgotten where my little camp was. So oh, if I find that again, then that'll be a miracle. I'm probably not going to find it again. If I go to the top of my time, I'm able to see down. So I'm just kind of flying because it saves time. Uh, in the actual game, you won't be able to fly. You will be able to sprint, though. That's basically all I've done. Is I've just whacked up the uh, speed at which you sprint to ten times. Um, but yeah, this, okay. So this is quite a nice little dense bit of forest right here, and the FPS is kind of dropped now. Um, oh, I believe this is because the chunks aren't unloading the trees properly, so it's actually regenerating the trees without unloading the previous trees. Anyway, it looks kind of cool, um, but what I want to show you is these new uh, weather effects. So here I've got a nice rain effect. Um, it still needs some work, it's quite slow at the moment. I can change the speed at which the rain falls and the sort of intensity of it. This would just sort of be like a nice little gentle downpour. I also want to add like little splash wing, uh, splash rings um, to the ground um, as the rain's falling. But yeah, I do really like this effect. It does kind of go to the part if I whack up shelter, Oop, and I pressed R again. And yeah, this is the snow. So this is the really awesome thing here. Um, when it starts snowing, um, what you actually see is that the snow actually starts to build up on these trees. You see they're kind of getting these white edges. And I know this place was snowy anyway, um, because it's high up in the mountain. But when it actually snows, um, I'm really, really happy with this. The areas outside of... So the areas which are unexposed um, won't actually gather snow. So you see here, the snow's kind of building up here. And this is the same as it was, even though the snow effect still goes through the trees. Um, you can see the snow actually building up thicker here, and you can see the tier, like the little sort of shelter I placed earlier, is just completely covered in snow now. Um, and there's a little bit inside which isn't. Um, but yeah, if I like fly back down the mountain, so if I go over here, you can kind of see how it works on the grassy areas. Um, <coughs> you can see how the snow's all sort of built up around and on top of the trees, but hasn't actually like built up under the trees and I really really like that feature um, which is really really awesome and I'm really happy that it's working 
Um, I think it adds a lot to the environment of the game, so like in a blizzard, like right now, um, I kind of want to make it so if you're out in the snow and you haven't sort of got thermal gear, you'll start to get cold, and if you get too cold, then you'll start dying and losing health. Um, whereas you get these areas here, which I want to make sort of shelters. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to add anything too extreme, like I kind of had this idea of making it so if you place down a fire, you could uh, somehow make the snow around it melt. I might be able to pull off something by like cheating the system, but I'm not sure just yet. Uh, I'll have to see what happens really. Um, I do know a way I could do it, but it's not the most practical way. But yeah, this is the game so far. This is me walking through a forest in the snow. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start up a new world and uh, quickly show you what it looks like if you fly across the world. So yeah, this is. Uh, the snow build-up effect. We've got the snow falling effect here. It looks a bit dodgy when it looks straight up. I plan on adding fog when it's snowing so visibility gets limited and uh, the tree density will actually be lower in the uh, in the game just because it, like most people probably can't handle this many trees being rendered at once. Um, I would like to sort of bake all the trees to one model but they do have this nice little sway effect and I do want them to be interactive so like, you can chop down a tree and such. Um, but we'll have to see where that goes. Um, ideally, I'd just love to be able to sort of max out performance, but at the moment, the like in this state with running fraps, the performance is kind of pushing at the limits now. What a game maker game can support, even on a strong PC. But yeah, um, really happy with this how this is turning out. This is a completely infinite. Uh, well, we're back to sort of the regular tree areas. Yeah, the world is completely infinite. Well, no, it's not completely infinite. It's it's basically infinite, so you wouldn't be able to walk through it in one uh, one playthrough realistically. But um, given time, you could get through. But yeah, I think this like effect just looks really awesome. And uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this first. But I'll come back with a bit of world flying in a minute.